Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the structure of magnet as well as per magnet ion and now in this topic I am going to talk about the disproportionation reaction. So what is disproportionation reaction and what are the examples involved in it? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, now let us understand what is a disproportionation reaction. So for that we have a definition that is a disproportionation reaction is a reaction in which an element in one oxidation state is simultaneously oxidized as well as reduced. So based on that we have certain examples and that is what I want to discuss about. So those examples are, suppose friends if I am talking about that is MnO4, 2- that is potassium magnate. So in this case basically if it undergoes a reaction with that is in an acidic medium so therefore the product that is what we could get is we could get MnO4 minus along with that of that is MnO2 along with that of that is water will be the byproduct so here basically we have to balance the reaction so that's the reason that I am using that is 3 moles of MnO4 and this is what we have get that is 2 moles of MnO4 minus suppose if we are talking about the oxidation state of this MnO4 2 minus. So in that case, we have got to know that is the oxidation state of MnO4 2 minus that is nothing but the magnet iron is found to be plus 6. And suppose if I am comparing it with this one, so therefore this is known as potassium per magnet. Suppose if I am talking about, so therefore this per magnet will have an oxidation state of plus 7 to the manganese atom. And talking about this one, this one will have that is plus 4. So the same element that is the manganese element which has an oxidation state of plus 6 is basically showing the further oxidized product as manganese plus 7 as well as this undergoes through reduction reaction also so as to give us an oxidation state of plus 4. So therefore the same element is giving us two different oxidation states that is plus 7 and plus 4. So therefore this is nothing but a disproportionation reaction. So talking about the other example that is suppose if I am considering that is HNO2 that is nitrous acid. Suppose if this nitrous acid is undergoing through a reaction so as to form that is nitrate that is NO3 minus along that of nitric oxide that is NO. So here the oxidation state of nitrogen over here it has been found to be plus 3. By talking about this nitrate ion this nitrate ion has an oxidation state of plus 5 and talking about this nitrate and talking about this nitric oxide so in this case the nitrogen atom has an oxidation state of plus 2. So here basically we can see that is the same element that is the nitrogen is exhibiting two different oxidation state that is one is undergoing through an oxidation reaction while the other one is going through that is the reduction reaction so that's the reason that one is the oxidized product and one is the reductant product that is what we could get and that's the reason that this kind of reactions are basically known as disproportionation reaction but all this disproportionation reaction it goes through an aqueous medium and that's the reason that this reaction is what we have to consider in an aqueous medium only and that's the reason that I was discussing about the disproportionation reaction so here basically the oxidizing agent like KMnO4 or here basically I have discussed about that is HNO2 so they can undergo through a disproportionation reaction and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this reaction very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much